Scorpio, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes, here to give you your reading. Yes, yes, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note, it does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch, I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, all right? Love you too. Scorpio, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. If you found the message or the message found you, there may be something in here for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. I thank you for like, share, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. There's no gender here. You're going to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no, mine. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Okay? Scorpio, you're getting ready to make a power move. Baby. Mm, I cannot wait to see it. I can't wait. It's like it's revving up in you like a engine, you know, like, ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, Scorpio, I love the energy. You have wakened the lion and great and full. This is a power move in life. OK, not all about love, but you're getting ready to pursue or make a move towards uh, an emotional fulfillment here. Uh, something you've always wanted, someone you've always wanted. It don't matter to me, okay? But I know you're going for the gusto and you're going in full force and you're going in with your chest out and you're going in know that you're going to conquer and you're going in know that you're the boss. You're going to wipe out any competition. Scorpio, you are about to make your move. Mm, yes, this is how you do it, baby. This is how you do it. I love it. Woo. Now, at the bottom of the deck is Close Encounters. <sighs> I have to say, I have to say, like I said, roles can all, always be reversed. Some of you, this is somebody making a move towards you, but you're in a situation. And they're coming in ready, but you're in a situation. You know, you might get a job offer of the world, but you have family obligations. I don't know. A love offer, but you already made a commitment. I don't know. But there is a situation. The thing about it is the situation is so confining to you, to your, to your beauty. You know what I mean? Just like this cage butterfly. It's confining to its beauty, you know? Um, it's a shame that we as people see something beautiful and want to cage it when it's meant for the world to enjoy, you know? And kind of like, this is what you may feel like, like you're ready to see the world and try the world and experience the world, but you in a situation. You know, in order for you to actually receive what's being offered to you or take an opportunity, you're going to have to go uh, beyond what you see and know and uh, explore uncharted territory. See, this higher view, it's looking at the bigger picture. So if you find yourself looking at it like, look, I might, if I, I don't know, change jobs, I don't even have a place or I don't have a car or, you know, I got to get a car, but I don't know how to drive. You know, it's always something. It's something that you're going to have to put some work in, you know what I'm saying, to make this accommodation uh, into this uncharted territory. But if you look at the big picture, the return, my love. There it is, Uncharted Sea. Oh my God, I'm I love my squad. You got to love my squad, I'm trying to tell you. There's the land in between to cross that threshold, to, to uh, cross that bridge, you know? Um, going from one phase to another, going through that death and that rebirth so that you can let loose a beautiful uncaging. Here is your cage. 
beyond the ordinary, if you look beyond what you see and what you know to what's possible, it'll give you a broader view. That broader view is uncharted territory. You're right. So you might have to go somewhere you've never been, see something you've never seen, try something you've never tried. But crossing that bridge will lead you to a land that you've never even could imagine would be so much better than where you are. And you can be free. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Scorpio. I'm just saying. Let's see what uh, New World Tarot has for you. Center energy, please, for Scorpio. Ooh, Ten of Wands. Three of Cups. What you gonna do? You gonna continue to carry this burden or you gonna let it go and be free? This center energy is the split of where you are. You know what I'm saying? It's the split of where you are. Others of you are struggling with relationships right now in all sorts. All right, I'm not gonna lie. What's crowning please for Scorpio? Crowning the King of Wands. Power, drive, focus, determination, qualities of this lion. The King of Wands is independently um, confident. You know what I mean? They know they're the ish. And if they want a partner, they'll get one. If they don't want one, they don't need them because they can run their kingdom by themselves with no problem. What's undermining this energy, please, for Scorpio? What's un undermining? Hangman, Moon, Eight of Wands. We talked about a broader perspective, a different perspective. We talked about a broader view. It was shown here as an eagle view. Uh, Hangman Piscean Energy also talks about a different view, a different perspective. I think you need to really see the big picture and you're not looking at that. You're kind of uh, uh, tunneling in on your focus. With this moon, also Piscean Energy, um, there are uh, unknown, unseen um, 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 situations here. Uh, like I said, for you, uh, this may be some uncharted territory. You're not going to know until you try it. You're not going to know until you try it. Uh, the moon can also bring about um, anxiety and fear. I ain't going to lie. Okay. Uh, the moon can talk about uh, um, hidden possibilities. Almost as if you're saying, you know, uh, uh, what if this job, the company closes after I get there, after I move? Or... Um, you know, uh, what if I get to into this relationship and something else happens? You know, as soon as I move to go towards them, they go towards somebody else. What if they're, they're taken? Like, you start doing that what if stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Or that's what they're getting doing about you. And But you don't know. And like I said, you're not going to know until you try. That's all I'm saying. Eight of Wands here. You're going to have to open your mouth. Communication. And if you need to go there and knock on their door by plane, train, or automobile, make it happen. Because there is a distance between you with this Eight of Wands working against you. Ooh, Scorp. You didn't tell me I needed some popcorn for your reading, baby. <laughs> Past energy. What brought this on, please? Past energy, please. For Scorpio, thank you. And we have a Knight of Cups in reverse. So you, in the past, probably withheld your your feelings, your your really true feelings, or they maybe uh, withheld them from you, you know. But I think now it's like you want to release it. You wanna you wanna give Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You wanna give. Um, you think that they will return, or you want them to return. Um, in the same value, you know what I'm saying? You give, they give, everybody giving, everybody happy, try la la la, you know, but somebody got to make a move and it looks like it has to be you. It looks like it has to be you. If this is your story, um, if this is not, and you feel that you're on the reception end, get ready. 
get ready. You might even need to pack a weekend bag just to be ready. Um, future energy, please, for Scorpio. Where is this going? Where is this going, please, for Scorpio? If I get an Ace of Cups, I'm going to fall out this chair. Where is this going, please, for Scorpio? Future energy, please. Thank you. Oh, shoot. That's a lot. Page of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands reversed. Temperance reversed. Oh, my heart. My coda. Coda song. Darn it. My coda song. I wanted the Ace of Cups and the upright. All right. Let's talk. You're right. For, for those of you that are saying, I don't know what I'm going to see, meet, run into when I get there. You have every, uh, every ounce of your intuition is absolutely correct. Okay. Now, what does that mean for you? You're going to back down from a challenge? They're not married. The job is still available or they hire both of you. Are you going to, I mean, what are you going to do? I'm just saying, Scorp. I'm just saying, um, page of pentacles here. This person is not really, this person that you're pursuing for those of you that are following that storyline is really not feeling number one. They're still healing. They're not completely over what, whatever happened between y'all. Um, to be honest, I'm not going to lie what happened between y'all or what happened in their life. Okay. So they're not really as, um, gun ho as you are. Um, with for this connection they're not it's like you go in and you maybe you, you go in with these um i don't know flowers or something and they look at them like oh that's cute they're not impressed at all at your appearance the fact that you show up and you can say well i didn't flew thousands and thousands of miles that should that should show it right there nope not enough nope i'm telling you now if you're not going the thousands and thousands of miles with a confession and a gift, stay home. I ain't gonna lie. We talking. Stay home. Don't. You're right. Don't waste your time. Because whoever you're approaching, the energy that they're in is that they want to, they want the proof, the pudding, the power, the pot, the spoon. They want the ingredients. They, they, yeah, they, they, yeah. <laughs> They, they in a funk right now. I ain't going to hold you. They in a funk. So if you're going in, you know, you, that's why the King of Wands, I think, is crowning you specifically. Because it's not that you don't have the heart of the lion. Okay? The lion is definitely in your heart. But your ass is the problem. I ain't going to I ain't gonna lie, Scorp. Your emotions are at play here because you don't really want to risk them. You know what I mean? Um, and make yourself, put yourself out on a limb or make yourself vulnerable. But if you're not making yourself vulnerable and putting yourself out on the limb, then how can you expect for them to do the same for you? I'm just saying. Number one. Number two, like I said, if you feel like I've traveled or um, they didn't know I was coming or I was upfront and honest and this, that, and the third, if you really feel like that, that you did that and that should be enough, I'm telling you, damn it, it's not. It's not. For whatever reason, it's not. You know your past better than I do, but what I know about your past is that you wasn't upfront. I'm just saying. We talking. All right, bottom of the deck, there's that death and rebirth. It's up to you. That's your energy. It's up to you. This ball you is not only in your court, it's your damn ball. It's your ball. It's your court. I mean, you pick the players. What you going to do? You going to shoot your shot or what? The world is right here underneath you. Are you going to close out this old foolishness and step into your new life that is ready and waiting for you? You're calling it in. It's waiting on you. I don't understand what the problem is. Me, myself, personally, but Scorp, this your damn reading. All right? With this world energy, it's time for that to close. It's time for your new beginning. Boom. Page of Wands. Okay? It's absolutely time. It's time for you to stand your ground and get what you're supposed to get. 
all right? It's time for you to get your victory. It's time for you to get your recognition. It's time for you to go get your prize, baby, six of wands. I'm just saying, all right? If you want to be serious about this emotional offer, uh, then make that emotional offer. If you need the before you offer, apologize, apologize first, then make the offer because you're dealing with an empress, my love, Libra, Taurian energy, and they are not playing, period. <laughs> Ten of cups with an empress. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that really fought to get to where they are and they're not going to risk their happiness uh, because you just felt like one day you woke up and wanted to be a damn lion or you wanted to have courage. I'm just saying, they're looking for stabil stability with the Queen of Pentacles. They're looking to make moves with this chariot. They're definitely intuitive, so they expect you. That's why they're not impressed when you get there. You think that you're doing something off the bat. They know you're coming. God darn, Scorpio, what we gonna do? Hold on, we gotta figure something out here. Uh, we get back to that. We get back to that. We get back to that. I'm going to see if I can help you with that. Uh, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Uh, definitely ground and security. There's my Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. God darn, Scorpio, you got to go for this. You got to. You got to. All right, now let's talk about what we're going to do. What can you do? Because they know you coming. Oh, man, Scorpio, you got to let me know. You got to let me know because they know you coming. I ain't going to lie. That just went through me. It went through. I'm telling you, I don't care if you're on different time zones in different countries. If you knocked on this person's door tomorrow morning, they would smile. Hey, what you doing here? They would do that, but they knew you were coming. Believe me. Believe me. They're just so happen to have like your favorite food there. They're going to just so happen to have your drink there. Like they're going to know. They know you're coming. I'm telling you, they know you're coming. All right. Mm. All right, Scorp. I hope this helps. You know, just have a plan together. Get your, get, your, get your chest out. Get your weight up. You know what I mean? Do what you got to do. Okay. And go for yours. All right. And if it don't work after you put the work in, what you will be able to say is I tried. And then you never know what you'll run into while you there. I'm just saying. Not love. One door closed. Hello. <laughs> Scorp, I love y'all. Listen, if in the event none of this resonates for you, it's okay. Check your moon and rising. Please don't take this energy with you. Leave it here for someone else. Guys, thumbs up. Remember, okay? Subscribe so that you're notified of future readings. And we are all what? Perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.